In the silent corridors of history, a name echoes with unmatched grandeur. Rameses the Great. Let's journey back to the late 14th century BC and discover a figure whose story transcends time, leaving an indelible mark on ancient Egypt's tapestry of power, conflict, and prosperity. In the twilight of the 14th century BC, Rameses emerged into a world experiencing the first golden ages of ancient times. Across the eastern Mediterranean and the Middle East, powerful states like Mycenae and the Minoans held sway. We will cover family, military, and wars of Ramesses, the great. But first subscribe to our channel for more historical and mysterious videos. In Egypt, the New Kingdom period dawned, ushering in an era of unprecedented cultural and economic prosperity. Amidst this vibrant backdrop, Young Rameses, born to Seti the Y and Tuya, entered a stage set for monumental feats. As the son of Seti Y, a scion of aristocracy from the northern reaches of Egypt, Rameses was destined for greatness. His journey began in the New Kingdom period, marked by a formidable government, a robust military, and flourishing trade routes. Egypt, under the watchful eyes of pharaohs, expanded its territories, reaching unprecedented heights during Thutmose III's reign. It was against this backdrop that Rameses, as a prince regent, began to carve his destiny alongside his father's campaigns, reclaiming lost territories in Canaan and Syria. Rameses' childhood unfolded against a backdrop of political upheaval. Pharaoh Horemheb, known for restoring stability after Akhenaten's tumultuous reign, paved the way for the ascension of Rameses' grandfather, Paramessa, to the throne. Thus, the 19th dynasty was born, with Seti Y following in Paramessa's footsteps. Rameses found himself at the epicenter of a familial lineage destined to shape Egypt's destiny. May 31, 1279 BC, marked a pivotal moment in history as Rameses ascended the throne. A young pharaoh with an illustrious lineage, he embarked on a 66-year reign, the longest of any Egyptian ruler. Adopting the regnal name Usermatra Setepenre, meaning the law or harmony of Ra, the Egyptian sun god, is powerful. I am chosen of Ra. Rameses set the stage for an era that would echo through the ages. Rameses' early reign saw the emergence of a threat from the north the Sheridan Sea Pirates. These marauders threatened Egypt's northern coast and the Nile Delta. With strategic prowess, Ramesses fortified the northern borders, constructed a formidable navy, and engaged the pirates in a decisive sea battle. The victory at Tanis heralded the young pharaoh's prowess, securing the prosperity of Egypt's vital territories. With the northern shores stabilized, Rameses turned his attention to a paramount objective, restoring Egyptian control over Canaan and the Levant. While Egypt reveled in its affluence, the riches of Canaan beckoned. Cities like Tyre and Sidon at the crossroads of empires held the keys to prosperity. Rameses, fueled by the legacy of Thutmose III, sought to reestablish Egyptian dominion over this coveted region. However, the path to Canaan was fraught with challenges. The Hittite Empire, a formidable rival, coveted the same lands. Rameses faced the delicate task of securing Canaan while fending off potential Hittite counterattacks. His reign unfolded as a strategic dance, a delicate balance between expansion and defense, shaping the destiny of ancient Egypt. As we delve into the chapters of Rameses the Great's saga, each page reveals a ruler whose legacy transcends time. From the golden glow of the New Kingdom to the strategic brilliance in facing external threats, Rameses emerges as a pharaoh whose footsteps echo through the corridors of history. In a nod to Akhenaten's unconventional legacy, Rameses chose to establish his new capital, Pi Rameses, near modern day Kantir. Rooted in a region where his father, Seti IV, had a summer palace, P. Rameses morphed into a quasi-military hub. 
Here, vast workshops and factories churned out weapons, armor, and chariots, signifying a strategic and industrial pivot for Egypt. Despite this shift, Rameses, through his grand building program, steadfastly held onto the belief that Thebes, present-day Luxor, remained the spiritual and religious core of Egypt. Rameses' early campaigns against the Hittite Empire, under the rule of King Muatali II, set the stage for one of the most iconic battles of the Bronze Age, the Battle of Kadesh. In the late 1270s BC, the pharaoh embarked on annual military forays into the Levant, seeking to extend Egyptian dominance. The initial campaign in 1275 BC saw success as Rameses secured control over southern Canaan before advancing north toward modern-day Beirut. However, this newfound influence was short-lived. The Battle of Kadesh unfolded near the city of Kadesh on the banks of the Orontes River in western Syria. With armies of substantial size, both sides engaged in a conflict that would be etched into the records of the second millennium BC. The Hittites, catching Rameses off guard in the initial stages, launched a chariot assault that scattered the Ra division of the Egyptian forces. The aftermath of Kadesh remains a subject of historical debate. Ramesses, undoubtedly, celebrated it as a resounding victory, immortalizing the event through inscriptions, wall paintings, and stelae. However, some scholars contend that Kadesh may have been more of a stalemate than the comprehensive victory portrayed by Ramesses. Regardless, the battle did not bring a decisive end to hostilities, and both sides continued to skirmish in the years that followed. Simultaneously, Rameses cast his gaze westward, venturing into the enigmatic land of Libya. Despite the limited historical knowledge about ancient Libya, interactions between Egypt and this region were notable. Ports and oases along the north coast served as key settlement points, and Rameses aimed to secure Egypt's interests in this strategic expanse. Rameses II, also known as Rameses the Great, was an important pharaoh in ancient Egypt. He ruled during a period called the New Kingdom, and his reign was marked by several key achievements. Rameses II led many military campaigns to expand Egypt's borders. He fought in Nubia, Libya, and Canaan, successfully making Egypt one of the most powerful states of that time. His victories included defeating the Hittite Empire. Rameses II had a very large family with around 100 children. He practiced polygamy, having multiple wives. His primary wife was Nefertari, and they had many children together. Some of his other wives included Isitnofret and Mathorn Farur. Rameses II was associated with the sun god Ra. He celebrated the Sed Festival a religious event held every three years for kings who ruled for over 30 years. The festival honored the king and the wolf god, Sed. Rameses II was a great builder. He constructed many temples, statues, and obelisks. Some notable projects include the Rameseum in Thebes, contributions to Saqqara, and the temples in Nubia, like Beit el-Wali and Wadi es Sebua. The most impressive was Abu Simbel, a temple complex near the border with Sudan. In simpler terms, Rameses II was a powerful leader who expanded Egypt's influence through military victories, had a large family, celebrated religious events, and left a lasting legacy through impressive building projects. In the heart of ancient Egypt, a grand entrance beckoned visitors into a temple dedicated to numerous major Egyptian deities. Inside, sculptures and reliefs adorned the sacred space, each telling a tale of the glorious reign of Rameses. A fascinating aspect of this temple was its unique design, allowing sunlight to flood the chamber on specific dates, possibly marking the birth and coronation of the great pharaoh. Yet, it is not just the interior that leaves a lasting impression. The Temple of Abu Simbel boasts a series of colossal statues flanking its entrance, standing at an awe-inspiring 20 meters tall. 
these colossal figures portraying Ramesses wearing the dual crowns of Upper and Lower Egypt served as a powerful proclamation of his dominion over the land. Rameses, a pharaoh of unparalleled longevity, ruled for over 65 years. The initial decades of his reign were marked by grand military campaigns, including the famous Battle of Kadesh. Upon Rameses's passing, his son, Merneptah, assumed the throne, marking the end of the 19th dynasty. The succeeding years witnessed a succession of pharaohs until the lineage of Rameses dwindled in 1189 BC. The intriguing connection between Rameses the Seku and the biblical story of Exodus has fueled speculation for centuries. While some suggest he might be the pharaoh in the biblical tale, historical evidence supporting this claim remains elusive. The book of Exodus provides no explicit identification of the pharaoh, leaving room for diverse theories spanning several centuries. The story of Rameses extends beyond his mortal years. In the late 19th century, his tomb was discovered, shedding light on the elaborate burial practices of ancient Egypt. Surprisingly, Rameses's death mask and sarcophagus were repurposed from the tomb of his successor, Horemheb, reflecting the Egyptians' practice of maintaining and renovating royal tombs. Your thoughts on this? Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. early in his reign and moved his capital south from the traditional site at